Hi there, this is Rob Hanna. Uh, today I just want to cover the new Quantifiable Edges Numbered Systems Triggers spreadsheet that's downloadable each night and how people can use that to try and spot trading opportunities. And also I'm going to review the new TradeStation worksheet to show how you can use that to sort through them and, and look at the setups in a little bit more detail. Before I get into it though, I just want to give people a short chance to read a disclaimer. Most of what I'm going to talk about today is based on back-tested historical data. And while I find back-tested historical data very useful in determining trade setups for myself, there's no assurance that any setup is going to continue to work indefinitely into the future. Your results will differ from those you see. Uh, right here you can see this is the main page after you log in. And under Active Resources, the Numbered Systems Daily Trigger Spreadsheet comes up listed near the top of the active resources. So you can download it right here uh, just by clicking on that link or you can go to the numbered systems page under the systems drop down and you can see the daily trigger spreadsheet is available there as well. So you just click on that it'll download it to the computer and now I pull it up and this is from uh, last night which is 12 12 13. Let me just make these a little bit bigger and what we see here is a list of all the stocks that met the criteria of one of the numbered systems. And it'll show us the stock, um, where that stock closed, the system that's triggering, and then stats on that particular stock and how it's done. So what I will do here is I'm going to sort on these columns. Uh, so I'm going to be sorting on profit factor. Well, if my Excel bumped it down there one line. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but that's fine. I'll just do largest to smallest. And so we can see the stocks that have done the best in those particular numbered systems. And the reason I like to do this is that different stocks will trade differently. I, no one that's traded for a while would argue that every stock trades the same. Volatile tech stocks generally trade different than utilities stocks. So some stocks or ETFs will do better with certain numbered systems. And I like to trade in the ones that have historically done better and traded in a manner that uh, uh, has taken advantage uh, of one of the numbered systems rather than uh, just trading in any random stock. The new spreadsheet helps us do this. Generally, I like to have the aggregator favorable, right? So we've got the, the market direction behind us. I like for it to be a solid setup overall, and the number of systems generally are all pretty solid setups. And then I want to be in an e stock or ETF that's responded well to it over time. So the system is listed here on the left, and you can look at the win loss and the and the percent wins your averages and so forth and and a few of them stand out here to me PFE triggering system 80402 that's 12 for 12s uh, over time looking back to 2000 the average trade is 1.3 percent and we can look at several of these LNC is triggering system 88 and it's been 13 out of 14 there so once you spot a few that you want to look at you can then go in and uh, examine them now if you forget what the particular system's rules are, you can always just go and, and click on any of the system pages here and you'll get full description of the rules and back test results. You'll also get uh, the trade station code uh, listed there and uh, any other information you, that, that's available on that system. But to see how it's done for the individual stocks as listed, you can just pull up the numbered systems worksheet. And what we see here is 11 different charts and, and SPY is on all of them, uh, but they're labeled by system. So 80402 is shown here. I'll maximize that. And we were looking at, I think, PFE for 80402. Looks like PFE also triggered to 80502. All right, but let's look at it for 80402. We know it was 12 and 0, but let's see what those setups look like. And you can dig in a little bit further. 
So you can see there was three of them in the last year or so, uh, and this one would have uh, triggered an entry actually uh, uh, yesterday. So if you if you're getting in now, uh, today there's, there's, we've got another down day. You'd be getting in uh, at a bit lower price, uh, which could be a good thing. You can now go and see the strategy report for this system. This assumes, I believe, one cent per share of commissions. You can make any adjustments you want for commissions. You can see the full list of trades. You can look at things like your average drawdown. So the average drawdown has been 1.4%. The max drawdown for any of these trades has been about 4%. Okay, and that was in 2003. So any information you want on this particular trade, you can get, or on this particular stock and how it's done. Let's look at one more. Let's say that LNC one. So that uh, for System 88, it's been 13 out of 14. You can go in and look at that a little bit further. And we see 88 is right here. So let me pull up my 88 graph and LNC. And again, we've had a few of these in the last year as well. And you can even scroll back if you want. Now let's look for the loser. Uh, we know it's 13 out of 14, and we can see what the winners look like. Some pretty nicely timed exits for for this one. This took some heat initially. You can see the en entry was there, and then it went way down and bounced way up. If I scroll back, there's a long time between some of these. Uh, here we have another one. Okay, that's in uh, 2009. There's a bunch here in 2006, 2007. There's our lone loser right there. Uh, got in on a pullback and got out on, on this bounce after uh, the trend turned lower. Okay. And you can go back and uh, as far as you want and, and look at uh, uh, these. You can You can actually change the the dates on these charts as well. If you want to look back further than 2000, that's not a problem. All right, so that's just uh, a real easy way to sort the spreadsheet, look up the the trades, and decide if it's a uh, something that you want to to look at. I'll probably start showing some more numbered system triggers in the subscriber letter. Generally, in the subscriber letter, I only stick to either ETFs or S&P 100 stocks, and the reason I do that is. I want to put the absolute biggest ones in there. They tend to be the more, more liquid, and I don't want anyone that happens to be you know, following uh, on those trades to have execution difficulties. So that, that's why I stick to the largest ones. But there should be plenty of hidden gems for, for those people that are willing to look a little deeper and, and use the spreadsheet on a, on a semi-regular semi basis. As you can see, it really takes very little time to explore these historical results and, and to pull up the spreadsheet. And hopefully we're able to find some nice trading opportunities, not necessarily every day, but on a fairly regular basis. When the market's going your way and uh, you're able to identify a nice setup in a stock or ETF that has uh, done well with that setup in the past. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at support at quantifiableedges.com. Thanks.